What's up, guys? Jay, more than after kill, and just today, Days Gone has finally released. God damn, <laughs> and I, I mean that. Like this game has been shown at E3 for like four different years, and then out of nowhere went radio silent for last year's presentation, and has finally emerged today as a perfectly acceptable clone of Horizon Zero Dawn. And that's not a bad thing, honestly. If you like open world games with optional stealth elements like Horizon Zero Dawn, Red Dead Redemption, or even Metal Gear, then you'll most likely enjoy Days Gone. Now, I'm not gonna go out on a limb and say the game is genre-defining like Horizon Zero or Red Dead, but, it's definitely solid enough to stand on its own without really bringing anything new to the table. But, with that said, if you do decide to get your Zambi on with Days Gone, I'm going to show you where to get the machete, which seems to be the strongest melee weapon that I've encountered in the game, usually only taking two to three shots to take down any enemy that I've come across. And I'm gonna show you not only how to get it, but I'm gonna show you how you can keep it. Because weapons do degrade with use and break in game. So first up, you're gonna wanna gas up your hog and come all the way up to this marker that I'm showing you on the map in the top right hand corner. And I'm gonna warn you, there is a zombie nest here, so you're going to want to stock up on ammunition, come here during the day to limit their numbers, and maybe have a Molotov cocktail on hand so you can burn them nasty fuckers right up out of there. But from here, you're just going to want to drive down the little slope here, make a right on the road, and continue on it till you see a teal blue pickup truck on the left. Inside the bed of this pickup truck, there will be a machete, and the good thing is that even if you do break your machete, it does respawn in this truck after you save and quit, so you can come back and pick up another one. However, since melee weapons break pretty easily in this game, you're going to want to go into your melee skill tree in your menu and select the skill in the first tier, Field Repairs which will allow you to repair the machete on the fly, keep slicing and dicing, and not have to come all the way back up here to get a machete. So, my name is Jay, more than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys read, comment, and subscribe. If you can leave a thumb up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you. How motherfuckers that watch it? Bye, motherfucking videos. But let me know in the comment section down below. Have you played Days Gone yet? If so, did it live up to your expectations that you had for the game? Tell me in the comment section down below. My name's Jay. We're an afterkill. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see y'all motherfuckers later.